Hi, I am Pranit. In this session, I am going to explain array of structures. If you see the definition, array of structure is used to create multiple records of structure using single variable. If you see the syntax, it is same like a structure template only. What is the difference between a structure variable and array of structure variable means uh, see here to create a structure we must use struct keyword this is a structure name these are the members of the structures okay to create a variable struct structure name space variable okay at as it is a array of structures array of structures array contains size okay so for here structure variable also you must specify the size okay clear so if there is no size how many times I can access this structure template means uh, I can access only once okay I can print only one record I can print only one student information okay if there is no size I can access this structure only once okay if there is a size if there is a size suppose here size is 3 means uh, I can access this structure template uh, three times okay so that is the advantage of uh, array of structures okay so the template is same see here the template is same struct structure name uh, members and uh, creation of variable everything is same as it is a array of structures array contains size already we know that okay so mention the size here okay so this is the declaration of uh, array of structures okay see the definition array of structure is used to create multiple records of structure type using single variable okay normally by using single variable we can access this structure record only once okay by using array of structure variable we can access this record multiple times okay that is the definition okay see here i will show an example See here I have created one structure, structure name is student. Here three fields are there. Name, roll number, average. Okay. So here I have created a variable for this structure. So what is the variable name? Record. Variable name is record. Okay. So here I have assigned values for this structure. Okay. I have provided values for this structure template. Okay. Here I am printing. I am printing the values present in this structure okay so see here if I execute this program so how many times I can be accessible this structure template only once okay only one student information only one student information is able to print by using this variable see here by using this record variable I can access the structure template I can print the information only once I can print only one student information okay but if I use array of structures means array of structure syntax how it is mention the size okay but if I use array of structures I can able to access this structure template five times okay clear so this is the use of uh, array of structures okay let's move to the example of uh, array of structures see here this is a structure i have created structure name is student here there are two fields two members roll number and name okay so here i have created variable what is the variable name st struct student is the data type st is the variable name of size how much size 3 means i can able to access this structure template how many times three times i can print three students information okay three students information okay so if you want to print 50 students information just make the size as 50 okay so 
see here enter the next step is uh, enter records of three students okay next here uh, to enter to access three student information i have taken for loop okay i have taken for loop help of for loop see here i am using i variable in the for loop so i have declared i as array index starts from 0 i value is 0 i less than size what is the size 3 i less than 3 i plus plus next printf enter roll number it is asking to enter roll number scanf percentile d comma address of st of i what is i see here i is 0 st of 0 dot roll number okay st of see here st of 0 dot roll number how to access a structure member variable dot member okay st dot st dot st is the variable dot roll number is the member okay but here as it is a array as we are taking the help of for loop here you must use uh, zero index first index second index third index like that so on okay so that's why here i have used i here okay st of zero dot roll number okay so the given input will go and store in the address of st of zero dot roll number next printf enter name scanf percentile s as it is a string percentile s address of st of uh, zero dot name what is i i is zero zero dot name okay so see here see here uh, here what is the size of uh, this variable three okay so three i can store three students roll numbers okay three students roll numbers see here three student roll number and uh, three students names three students name okay so what is the first one st of zero st of see here st of zero dot roll number st of zero dot name here i am giving st of zero as roll number one two three st of name as some abc okay first one is over next uh, here we have increment i plus plus now i will become one okay so again uh, it will ask uh, the condition is true one less than three okay so if condition is true control comes inside enter roll number scan up percentile d comma address of st of i what is i here one st of one dot roll number okay next enter name again it is asking input by using scan st of i what is i one st of one dot name okay so here the given input will go and store in the address of st of uh, one this is st of zero this is st of one this is st of two so here i am giving as a uh, four five six and say some x y z okay so again increment is there i will become two okay so st of two dot roll number and st of two dot name okay so the input will go and store here okay input will go and store here again increment is there i plus plus i will become three three less than three condition false so if the condition is false control comes outside the loop and it will print printf student information okay so again now to access these elements to access these elements again we need to write one for loop okay so as for input we are using for loop for output also you need to take help of for loop so that the programs get very simpler okay so the program does not look large if you use loops okay so by using this for loop we need to print the values present in this memory location okay see here printf roll number percentile d 
stfi dot roll number stfi dot roll number name is percentile s percentile s stfi dot name okay same so what is there in stfi dot roll number what is there in stf dot stf i means initially i is 0 0 dot rule number what is there 1 2 3 name what is their name a b c okay again i value become 1 what is there in stf 1 4 5 6 name x y z again i value will become 2 increment stf 2 stf 2 what is there some 7 is there okay okay some another value is there clear next i value become 3 but condition false it will come out from the loop okay let me show uh, the output once execute compile and run so what is the first one here What is the first statement here? Enter records of three students. Okay. What is second? Enter roll number. So here I can give one roll number. I am giving as one. Okay. Next, what is the next one? Enter name. Enter name. Okay. So here I am giving as uh, Dennis. Clear. Next. Again, it is asking for the next second input. Why? Because I value is one now. So I am giving as 2. Now I am giving name as 3. Enter roll number. Still condition is 2. 2 less than 3. I value became 2 here. Okay. Next I am giving as uh, Raneet. Sorry. Here I have to give uh, roll number. Later I have to give name. Okay. Let me execute once again. Compile and run. So enter roll number one. Name Dennis. Uh, enter roll number two. Richie. Enter roll number three. See here we got output as uh, student information list is rule number one name is Denny rule number two name is Richie rule number three name is uh, Pranit okay so here here what we have did here in the last printf statement we have written both both rule number name in a single statement okay rule number colon rule number colon percentile d name is percentile s okay so in single statement only i have written roll number and name that's why in single statement only we got roll number and name okay so by using array of array of structures we can use this structure template multiple times okay multiple times clear so this is all about the array of structures if you have any doubts please uh, watch again if you have still doubts please post your doubt on the comment okay so you need to be uh, you need to be uh, know about the for loop very clearly uh, when you are working with uh, such kind of array uh, array programs okay so thank you thank you for watching please share your friends Please subscribe to my channel. Thank you.